Okay, we have come here today and we're going to say a quick prayer. We got Benito coming to give us the word of God. And right now we're coming to celebrate the graduation of one of our men. But you know what? The graduation of the man is not the entire story. As a matter of fact, if you come here, you come through the program, you leave here, as the world says, clean and sober. If you don't know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, when you leave here, you are leaving here perhaps uh, sober, but you're not clean. Only Christ can do that. Only Christ can wash away our sins. Only Christ can pay the penalty for what we have done. Once in his embrace, we will be in his embrace forever. It doesn't mean that we can't stumble or fall, but it does mean that we can never live in that situation again because he will always be drawing us. He will always be there. So I love that song, prone to wander. My heart is always prone to wander. But he will not let me wander far before, like the good shepherd, he will draw me back in. So, um, Ro? We, uh, we do a new thing around here. We get together as all the pastoral staff, and we get together, and, we, and, and uh, Stephen is there, and what we do is we interview the man that is going to graduate. And then after the questioning we have, the prayer that we have, then it comes down, it comes down to us wanting to, uh, to affirm that God has truly made a difference in this man's life. And we truly found that with Roe. So I have a certificate here, my dear brother, and I do mean that, in Christ, there's no color, there is no nationality, there's no male and female, there's only those that walk in Christ. And so that is my prayer always for you, brother. It says, this is to certify that Lerone Davis has successfully completed all the requirements for the new life drug and alcohol rehabilitation program at the Union Gospel Mission dated the 30th day of March in the year of our Lord, 2023. And uh, I see I have not signed it yet, but I intend to. Okay. <laughs> you All day, bro. All day. I hope you will. I hope you will take this certificate that means much more than a piece of paper printed. It is what it represents, and it represents the, the, not, the 10 months on our program that, that is struggle and is work, and it is wrestling sometimes with the Lord and sometimes with our brothers and sisters, right? <laughs> but so it represents a lot, and it represents the fact that I'm asking all of us here today to love our brother Amen. in Christ, right? The word of God, which is a sword that you need to take with you always. I tell every man, I hope when I see this thing, it's all beat up and big swollen and written on because once you've done all that, that penetrates in the heart, right? <coughs> Thy word have I hidden in my heart that I may not sin against you. And then this, reach in your pocket every once in a while and remember that every believer in Christ is a soldier that you need to put on the full armor of God every single day. Not, not just before you hop out of bed, but we, the only, we are the only people in the world as soldiers that need to keep that armor on all the time and check it periodically. So, Ro, your brothers and sisters want to hear from you. Okay. Yeah, you. <laughs> Sorry, you guys. Um... So, yeah, I wanted to write something, but, uh, yeah, so um, I just want to say glory to God. All the glory goes to him. I just am thankful for this program, but most of all, I'm thankful for him for just um, just choosing me and just loving me when I just didn't love myself or him, and um, I'm eternally grateful for that. Um, coming into this program, um, 
I didn't want to be here. Uh, Rudolph seen that I was holding on to my mom, and I was just like, I can't believe you're doing this to me, and da 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 da. And um, I came here and on April Fool's Day. I'll never forget that. I, I thought it was a joke from my mom and dad, and um, I was so mad at them. I was so mad at them. I didn't even want to say goodbye to them. And um, but it's crazy because by the second day, I was like, okay, it may not be so bad. And um, as time went on in class and stuff, you know, uh, Pastor Winnie's, you know, teaching the word, and uh, it was going straight over my head, straight over my head, and I was just frustrated. I just wanted to leave, and I just felt like I don't know any of these guys here, you know. Um, we're probably, I mean, we're not going to get along. I, I could just already see it. And to be honest, I mean, they weren't like some of the guys that I probably spend my time off, you know, with in my regular life. Um, but then one day it just it just clicked. Like the words didn't seem like mumbo jumbo. It didn't seem go over my head. It was literally words of poetry to me. Mm. And um, they just brought tears to my eyes because I just seen how much he loves me and um, how much he loves all of us. Yeah. And it's so great to know that he loves us, that he will give his only begotten son, somebody who's so precious to him, perfect in all ways, and will do it for a sinner like me. And I'll never understand why. I never would. And uh, that's why I just feel like it's my, my duty to know who he is. Mm -hmm. Because I have to know why he wants to do it for me. And why he wants to do it for any of us. And um, so I just say to um, all my brothers here, just stay strong. You know, talk to one another, love one another. Um, all my brothers here, uh, I may have argued with some of you. <laughs> you guys see me like go off, you know, but I mean, God has placed me in the right place to deal with the things that I was struggling with, you know, just as well as you. And um, so I want to say thank you to all my brothers, uh, especially to my brother Joey in the back. Um, I love you, brother. Um, Louie, James, Chris, <sighs> Daryl, James. I, I don't even, I don't want to leave nobody out. John, nobody. Rob. Oh my God. I'm so sorry, you guys. Frank, Micah, Brian. I'm looking at uh, Bob. All you guys. JC, David, <laughs> Juan, Jarrell, all you guys. You guys have made me feel so welcome into all the staff here. You guys have just welcomed me with open arms, and I'm just eternally grateful for that. And um, I just want to say when th things get hard, remember that he's always by your side. You'll hear something that will be very faint, but those words are a voice of encouragement and a voice of love. The loud voices that you hear, that's of the enemy. So um, I don't even want to mess up and say it, but I, like I said in that, in my little meeting, uh, 1 Corinthians 10, 13. That's um, something that gets me through. Um, no temptation. It's common to, wait, no temptation has overtaken you that is common to man. God is faithful, and he will not let you be tempted beyond your ability. And with that temptation, he will, he will provide a way of escape so that you may be able to endure it. So I take that, and I remember that when the enemy wants me to do something that my flesh, that my flesh wants to do, but my spirit is saying, no, don't do it. And you have to remember that that's, that voice, that spirit, is, it wants, he wants to save your life. He wants to save your life. So don't trust your heart. If your heart is wicked. Don't trust it. And I mean, if he gave up his, he gave up his son who was precious in his eyes for us, we owe him. I know, I feel like I do. And it's nothing that I have done to deserve this grace or anything like that, nothing that we have done. But just make it your duty to seek him diligently each and every day because that's what he wants. He wants a relationship with you. And um, I just wanna say thank you to everybody. My parents who aren't here, and that's okay. I know why. Um, but mom and dad, I hope that you're proud. I love you guys. You know? <laughs> Thank you guys. I love you guys. Thank you.
take this up and we're going gonna to get going in a minute. Okay. Just remember that we are truly saved by grace alone, through faith alone, in Christ alone. And that everything that we do needs to be to the glory of God alone. And that that book, that 66 books, needs to be our arbiter. And that's why we say sola scriptura, that, that scripture alone to be the arbiter of how we walk and live our lives. And if we diligently study that book and keep it in our hearts, and we have a healthy, well-balanced, Bible-believing church, then God always speaks to us through his word. So uh, let's always remember to pray for Roe. And thank you, brother. I, 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 am, I am so grateful that your words, I've heard a lot of testimonies that were 90% how bad I was, that much how good God is. Mm -hmm. But today I got to hear all of how good God was to Lerone. He didn't even get into his past because that's not important anymore. He's a new creation in Christ. And praise God, you know, if God calls you, you answer that call, you can be a new creation in Christ as well.